Hey, Webby, I just finished, finished class. Hey, congrats! I wanted to sound excited for you. I, I'm not. Dude, I was watching this thing on Counter-Strike skins the other day, and I had this brain blast memory. I remember I was in college with my at-the-time girlfriend, and I, you know I was chatted. I was thin. I was on the volleyball team. I also did swim. Uh, half of what I just said was a lie. I was went to my, my bio class in college with my at-the-time girlfriend that I was dating, and I was failing every class, but she was she hot? Um, that's a weird question. I... Uh, I, I don't think she's watching, but if she is, I don't want to call her ugly. But also, I think she's like, <laughs> it's a simple question, Bubby. Uh, no, uh, honestly? Oh, man, this is so mean. She was beautiful in her own right. Um, it was hard to look past the chair. But, uh, you know, as long as there weren't stairs or like a tall incline, we made it work. And I'll, like, the, <laughs> there were community... <laughs> I was going to take it too far. Okay, so anyway, what am I talking about? Oh, yeah, I had this brain blast memory the other day. This is totally irrelevant to everything. But I had, I remembered, yeah, she had an extra chromosome. I don't even think she knew we were dating. But I made it work for me. <laughs> this story is so off the rails. Anyway, I cheated on every single assignment in college because I didn't care. I used my student loan money on Jack in the Box. I used all the, uh, all the food. Who, come on, who, if you'd ever once cheated in school, what are you, a fucking nerd? Um, so in my biology class, <clears throat> I would, I purposefully, she would, she was very motivated. She, and she, I, I don't even know what she does now, but she was a really smart girl. And she sat at the front of the class and was taking notes. She was the, I'm actually kid. She would, and I was in the back of the class. I would purpose it back right of the classroom. Uh, and there was a, like a whiteboard that never got used, but it was elevated from the wall. And I could perfectly prop my head up on it and just sleep. And I would show up. So that my, my parents wouldn't be mad and I would just fucking sleep. And then, and, and then, this is when the memory I had, I forgot about this. Back when Counter-Strike skins were like the Wild West and motherfuckers were gambling and all this stuff. I, re I had this memory of when there was like a major going on. I walked into that class and I had my phone and I was just refreshing the results because I was I was a child betting hundreds if not thousands of dollars in Counter-Strike skins on these fucking matches. And I, I had this like brain blast of holy fuck. <clears throat> Me in high school, yup dude, I was I was in college at the time. God, and, and I wanted to know if Chad had that memory, but I had this like, I remember leaving class having heard not a single word and trying to explain to my girlfriend that I just won like 200 bucks in, in a video game currency skin thing. Oh, oh God, the good old days, <clears throat> the good old days. What major, what did you major in? <laughs> you think I made it that far? I, uh, let me, here's my, I've, some of you are new, so I'll explain this very briefly, but then we got content to get to! <laughs> I majored in tit fucking. No, I didn't. No, I really didn't. And I never have. It sucks. It's not, I'm not, <sighs> it's not, it's just awkward. I'm a big guy. It's, anyway, um, I was gonna go into, like, computer science stuff. I took my first computer science class, okay? And I, this is how far I made it into my major, if you even want to, Talk about that. If you want to call it a major. I sat down in the class. Okay. The lesson started. I was very overwhelmed. He said, hey, you also need this book. Went home, looked it up. The book was like $250. Never went back to the class again. I just stopped going. So that's about as far as I made it uh, into that major. Um, but let me tell you, my college experience wasn't fully wasted. I, I uh, learned about India at one point, I think, and <clears throat> man, I was so, dude, I gotta tell you, I was so good at not doing anything in school and getting great grades. You and you suck. know what they say about those kinds of people? They say they're the smartest. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? They say they're the smartest types of people, you know? Learn to manipulate, don't learn to learn. We need to talk about the elephant in the room. The elephant being a certain tent stream. So here's actually, someone on the subreddit did a beautiful thing and did a representation of the size of pancakes we were able, we would have been able to create if we took the batter and actually cooked it. So allow me to show you. So on the left, we have peanuts pancake. Uh, this is a three gram pancake. Uh, in the middle is mine. 
This is a two gram pink. And I love that he showed both. I love why why is everyone saying you? Get your mind out of the fucking gutter, idiots. Okay. <laughs> so we have on the left three grams, you see it liquefied. And and I'm gonna be fair, this is not what it looked like in my cup. In fact, seeing it baked, I'm like, that that it's fluffed up. It's been like hmm. It didn't look like that much in the cup. Uh, and then mine in the middle, two grams, nothing crazy. And then on the far right, we have Carlos's uh, didn't even uh, register a reading on the scale. I don't know how he achieved that. I don't know how he was able to get a zero reading on the scale, but you know, nothing to be ashamed of. Okay, I, it was hard, I get it. But that stream was amazing. And I'll be honest, I had a lot of people ask me and I answered always the same way. They go, were you trying to get banned? Yes, and I am actually, I'm sitting here right now, okay? I am kind of annoyed. Why am I here today? I had no stream plan for the next seven days because I was so, I was like, we're good. <laughs> we're, we're out, we're gonna get so bad. Not only did my, no, my partner rep didn't say anything. I don't have an email from Twitch. Nothing. I have nothing. <laughs> they didn't give a shit. Over 20,000 people live watch three men make pancake batter. An extra 10,000 watching Amaranth watch those same men make pancake batter. And yet, and yet, here we are. I Peanut flashed a nearly nude woman on his phone. So you wanted to quit streaming? No, 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 no. I wanted the, the stream to get banned to build hype so we could do a comeback stream with something even worse and just take a free week off from you guys. And I will say, I think we made history. That was a great stream. I had so much fun. I hope you had fun too, but <clears throat> it wasn't without, you know, some, some pushback. But the pushback is not what I expected. I want to show you guys this because this is just, I, I, I replied to it on Twitter, okay? I replied to it on Twitter already, <clears throat> but I wanted to reply to it live. This, it's this one fucking guy who, by the way, we all need to shame anyone who pays for Twitter blue for the check mark. That is so fucking embarrassing. You should feel so stupid. If you paid for a check mark, yes, I'm talking to you. Everybody who did that in my chat, Ham, I'm talking to you. You should all feel so dumb for buying the check mark. It it is just it is so pointless. It will be, because now because you did the check mark means nothing. It it's just so anyway. Okay, what if I did it for a meme? If you did it to make fun of something and get banned, I respect that. I respect that. That's fair. Uh. Ham, it's an investment. Oh, shut up. All right, so <clears throat> this guy tweeted. He tweeted a... By the way, he did the thing on Twitter that I find so gutty. I always find this shit so grimy. And I respect my viewers who bring this shit to me. Because they always end up doing it. So The funny thing is there's at least one wubby viewer in every community. There's at least one. So shit ends up on my desk always, right? So this guy tweeted out NSFW. He gave like a warning. Keep in mind, did not tag me. Tagging me would mean I would see the tweet. He didn't want me to see it. He said, yesterday on stream, Pay Money Wubby held a pancake batter contest. It seems, <clears throat> I'll show you the tweet here. It seems as if each member went into the tent to jerk off into a bowl to have it judged and then called it pancake batter. Okay, I, I, listen, I don't even know where to start with this tweet. But this tweet is such a monumental L. My brother, my brother, I don't know how to make this more clear to you. If that's where your mind went, you little pedophile pervert, if that's where your mind went, that's on you, brother. Who the fuck would do that? Okay? I watched the stream. I was there for the stream. All right? Not even a single time did we even allude to that. Anytime we talked about cum or masturbation, we made it very clear we were talking about it outside of the context of anything happening in this room. And anytime we talked about what was going on in the tent, we made it very clear that we were mixing pancake batter. And in fact, I would like you 
to prove that we were doing otherwise. Please prove. If you're going to make claims like this, I'd like you to prove it. Why is chat eating cum? You got to stop doing that. But see, I didn't. Okay, whatever. I'm not too mad about this. It's his next tweet that I was like, dude, you're literally, I think Carlos said this. You're literally like a Twitter hall monitor. And that is so, you're, I mean, you, I, I swear to God, he probably typed this out in his little Boy Scout uniform. He had to have. The next tweet under it is just, it's just. Okay, you ready? I, oh, I can't even want to read it. If a female streamer did anything close to this, they would instantly be banned and berated on the internet. <sighs> my brother, it is so cringe, my brother. Who are you talking to? Who is this for? I'm, okay, I, where in our stream did gender play any role at all, ever? What does this have to do with men, with women? What, in fact, ladies? If you want to get a tent, and and I'm not saying we did this, but let's say you wanted the worst possible case here. Ladies, if you wanted to get on Twitch and get a tent and sit there and just cram shit into your pussy for an hour and a half, I don't know if any man would complain in the entire world. In fact, I hear so many dudes would probably pay to see that happen. Who is this? I don't know who this tweet is for. He's like defending the hypothetical woman that doesn't exist right to come on stream i don't know what this content does not belong on twitch okay first off let's call a spade a spade here me and my friends did not get into a tent and masturbate that is not what happened that is not what happened me and three friends did not enter into a tent jerk off into a cup and get it tested. That is not what we did. And to assume that is borderline homophobic, borderline. Uh, and at the very least, it is it is absolutely unfair to the integrity of the pancake batter stream. <laughs> uh, and then here's the worst part about this tweet. I'm not gonna scroll through it, but I quote tweeted him and I made fun of him. I'm like, you're stupid, whatever. And the worst part, too, is the man immediately folded. He immediately starts making jokes about it. And I hate, why does, I'm telling, chat, we've, if you're a longtime viewer, you've seen this. You've seen this. It always happens. Every time, bro. Why do they do, I don't know. They're always like, I'm not going to add him. Fuck this guy. And then I hear about it. I respond and they go, oh, whoa, what do you mean, bro? I, hold on, let me actually find what he said. He said something to the extent of like, ooh, I want a taste. Give me a taste of it or something. Like, to like, like now he's in on the joke. My brother, inshallah, my brother. What do you do? What do you mean? Which is it? How was your day? Good. Good. I've been having the alcohol shits all morning. Hold on. Let me see if I can find what he said. I want you guys. It's, it's, it's as cringe as you would think. Here we go. Look, 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 look at this guy. Look at the. Okay. There is a reply that you're going to see when I switch to my screen right now. This reply is so legendary. He got ratioed by some random fucking kid, which is so funny. Here's what he said. He goes, can you send me some batter to taste test after I dunked on him with my tweet? Okay. He goes, oh, I'm at, this is actually, I get it now. I'm in on the joke. I'm in on the joke. Haha, <laughs> send me some batter. This kid fucking dunked on him, dude. Not even a, a single image. Your wig, sir. <laughs> Bro, that's so funny. And then I love that all of the replies are just like, dude, you're kind of crazy. What's wrong with you? The whiplash must hurt from that hard turn. Chad, you guys are feral. You guys are feral, bro. <laughs> oh my God. It's so, it's, I think he thought he was still being an asshole. That's a dude. Do not say that. That's such an L. This is him. This is him thinking he's dunking, dude. I hate so Even much I that I like. Well, it's like I'm in my own space. So I'm in my own decision. lane. I don't pick fights. Okay, I make content that makes me laugh for people that laugh at it. And yet somehow, somehow, there's people still just mad. They're just it's like this. Uh, by the way, keep in mind, 
I found this funny, but I also wanted to share it with you because it's like, come on, leave me alone. L after L after L. I haven't even seen the clip. I don't want to see it. They're gonna, he's going to try to spin the 221,000 people saw this clip. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Woo. Damn. That's a lot of people that saw me make pancake batter. Can I really get into detail for a second here? My whisk was so fucking soft during that stream. My, I like, I don't, and I gotta tell you guys, this is totally irrelevant. This is totally irrelevant, but I need you guys to know this. The night after that stream, not related to the stream at all. The night after that stream, when I came home, or not came home, when I, when, when I was home late, <laughs> I, I got come on the brain. I'm sorry. Irrelevant. It has nothing to do with the stream. I shot so many fucking ropes. I'm telling you right now, I don't think my dick, and this is not related to the stream at all. My dick has never been harder. Okay. I could have filled a small water balloon with how much came out. I think what I, what that stream, or, uh, I think something I learned, <laughs> why is everyone putting crush? They're saying abort. I think I accidentally like insanely edged myself because holy mother of God. I did tell you guys that I, 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 a lot of people think I'm privileged. A lot of people think I'm, I'm, I'm cushy. I got a lot of yes men around me, but let me tell you, I have suffered. I, uh, something happened to me last night that, that caused immense suffering. And I just want to vent a little bit. I just want to, I just want to uh, explain a little bit. I want to, I want to, you know, there's no punchline to this story that I'm about to tell you. There's no big ending. I just want to share my hurt with, with the people I think would care, which is why I'm not going to tell it on stream. I'm going to, I'm going to go talk to somebody else off stream. So I, as you guys know, yeah, this is my personal 9-11. This is, I, this is what I imagine like New Yorkers feel like. I, I feel the same way now. I feel like we can bond over this trauma. So let me explain. As you guys know, I'm really interested in Lego As, recently. It's my new like autism ADD focus, okay? Super, super into Lego. Don't care. Plus you're white, okay? End it all. So I've been into Lego recently. I built the Eiffel Tower. Huge, one of the biggest Legos. Insane. A lot of repetitive building, but I did it. And then I built the Porsche. Okay, the 911. I built the Porsche. Built that. Done. Easy. And then I th said, okay, let's, what's the next one? And I found this grand piano. It's another huge one. It's a big old grand piano. And I've just been building it into my off time, having fun, right? Uh, last night, <laughs> I was getting close to finishing it up. I'm probably three-fourths done. Most of the piano is together at this point. All the... If you guys don't know, it's a playable piano. It's got like a motor on the inside, all these crazy little internals so you could look at it. It's a very cool piano. Put it, putting the finishing touches, I'm, I'm probably three quarters of the way, maybe four fifths of the way through. <clears throat> and I'm going to snap a piece on and it's on this little table. I have it on an elevated table and I'm up here doing it. And unfortunately, the piano is held up by a, a stand that's on wheels. It's like a real piano. You move it around. <gasps> and I go to snap a piece in <clears throat> and I think I gave it a little too much oomph without enough support the piano got out from under me and just fell turned upside down top heavy and smashed into the floor and my mother was shot in front of me after uh, well both my mother and father were outside of a theater when I was a child we went to see a play an opera rarely do in fact we haven't since because they're dead my mother and father were both shot in front of me outside of an opera when I was a child. Batman. And, and nothing prepared me for the feeling of the, 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 the Lego crashing to the poggers. floor. Why are people saying Zora? Why are you saying poggers? This is so mean. I want you guys to understand something. I realized in that moment that I have not suffered enough in my life because for maybe like four Four hours after that, I was on the verge of tears. Let me explain. So I pick it up like a, like a, like, like, I, 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 I can't even describe. It was in absolute disarray. And you know what's worse about it too? This is a $500 Lego. And it's not simply, oh, just put it back together. You don't know 
Yeah, it's like John Wick's puppy. Exactly. Exactly like John Wick's puppy. You don't know anyone, anyone who anyone who builds Legos understands the trauma right now. You don't know where to put the pieces. It's not follow the instructions again. I don't know what's broken, but everything's broken. I'm sitting here looking at little chunks of like eight pieces together. I'm like, where the fuck does this go? I had a meltdown. I'm not lying. I, I had a legitimate meltdown. I just stood up, I put on some shorts and I went to the gym. I went straight to the fucking gym. I couldn't even think straight. I'm at the gym. I'm not even lying. I start getting emotional. You wanna know something really weird about how unstable I am? I start thinking, I'm never going home. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it all behind me. This is it. I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> I'm at the gym, dude. I swear to God, I'm at the gym. I'm doing shoulders. That was yesterday. I'm doing shoulders at the gym and I'm sitting there thinking, if I don't go home, I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> because all I could picture was going, walking back into the house and seeing the mess because it, nothing would be solved. It would just be right there. I'll have you guys know that I know, I know this is, this is going to be hard to believe. I did overcome my demons. I did eventually go home. Let's be honest. The longest gym session of the year though. A lot of sitting around. A lot of, maybe if I just, maybe, maybe, maybe Booty will just throw it away. If I, if I leave for a few months, maybe he'll get tired of it taking over most of the couch and just throw it away. Right? Maybe it'll disappear. <laughs> this single-handedly proves your autism. I'll be honest with you. You know what sucks? When you're sad and, and devastated over something stupid, if you're rational, like I consider myself to be, you get more sad and devastated over how pathetically devastated I was. So I'm in this like loop of self-hating because why the fuck am I mad at myself over a fucking Lego? And now I'm mad at myself for being sad. And then, then you calm down and then you go, my Lego's broken. <laughs> That's true. So I'm just in this loop of like, adults don't get mad at Lego. Well, I'm about to cry. Why are you crying? Adults don't cry over plastic. <laughs> but it's so much work. So I, I got home and man, dude, let me tell you how this went, right? Go st it was like I was fighting. Like I, I felt like I was in a, like, like in a bad fight with my wife. Like, that's how it felt. Like, I went, I got home and I just slammed my door. For who, by the way? Who is this? Who am I mad at? I go home, slam my fucking door in my room. I'm just sitting in my room. I'm looking at the floor and I'm like, I gotta go deal with it. I gotta go deal with it. Walk out, walk out, see just the mess, walk away. Every time I see it, I'm living all over again. For who? Yeah, who is this for? So, event, and, and you know what's funny? You guys don't see this side of me. I mean, I was just like, I was sad, man. It's so pathetic. So eventually, I muster up the strength to go out there and look and assess the damage. The, it, I mean, it's, it's smashed. It's fucked, right? It is what was once a beautiful grand piano missing its top is now a crumbled mess of pieces. So I calm down. I get less sad and I make it a challenge. And after I'll say this took me three hours chat, but the piano is back to its glory. However, here is what's you want to know what's driving me mental right now okay it was it was grueling it was a lot of like memory of like okay i, I kind of remember how this piece was let me look at the book okay and like kind of visual it was a lot of weird shit do you want to know what's fucking actually i'm gonna go grab it hold on i'm gonna show you something hold on, hold on. i'm going to show you what's haunting me right now hold on i didn't bring the piano i'm not touching that shit so it all functions still works great the motor works the keys work it looks perfect what are you for? Where the fuck do you go? This, uh, and it is not through lack of, where, what? I, 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 and I look, this is two pieces, by the way, two, here. Where do you go? Where do you exist? What is it for? What is it for? You know? <laughs> what is it for? <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna tell you. Here, 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 here's, here's what I'm gonna say right now. Here's what I'm gonna say right now. Uh, if I find what it's for, I'll let you guys know. If someone wants to be really autistic and look through the book, I just, page 80. Motherfuckers in chat saying page 81. Page 67. None of you're lying. 
You're lying. I'm gonna give it a day before I start believing the pages. But is there just some fucking Rain Man in my chat? Oh, that's actually page 82, step 363. That's square a little bit on top of triangular bit. I'm serious. Okay, if I get, okay, you're serious. If I get back up and go to the motherfucking living room right now, okay? And I grab the book and I come back and it's not on the page, I will end stream. Are you serious still? Huh? Can you let me just have this, please? Dude, I, I just want to vent with you guys, bro. It's fucking heartbreak. You don't even know. It's heartbreak. You wanna, can I tell you how heartbreaking it is? I'm going to reenact for you at dropping. Okay? Shh, crashes. You want to know my initial reaction? It's this. Ready? I think I was stuck there for maybe five minutes. I mean, I was just... You know, you ever get so fucked up, you just, you just, you just sit there, you know? Like I said, both my mother and my father and my grandma, my cat, and my brother, and my sister, we all went to the opera, and it was, it, it was crazy. We went outside, and all of them got shot mercilessly in front of me. And I, they made, they even, at one point, the, one of the crooks made me pull the trigger, and nothing compared me to dropping my grand piano. Hot bears! Why? Wubby for real, it's on page six. No, I'm grabbing the book. I'm grabbing the book. I'm grabbing the fucking book. Mods, keep an eye out for who said page 63. All right, here we go. All right, here. Grand piano, huh? Someone said 63. All right, let's go to page 63. Okay. 63. Nope. Nope. Not even fucking close, dude. Nope. Nope. What else you got? 73? It's on page 73. Quante, Dick what? 73? Okay, I'm going to 73? They're saying no joke 73. Why do I even fucking... You're not even... 73 is so off. It's fucking gears, you dingle idiots. Step 73? Okay, wait, hold on. Wait, hold... Step 70... Oh, wait, wait. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my god, wait, are you guys right? Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. Look, look, if you guys are wondering, 73, there it is, and then there's a little back pit. <laughs> oh my god. I'm getting kind of choked up, bro. I need to know who found that first. I want to buy you a Lego set. Whoever found that, I don't know if we can figure that out. My name is Walter Hardwell White, and I live at Obnoxious oh, City Street. I'd like to issue a former formal. I'd like to issue. Hello. My name is Wubby. I'd like to issue a formal apology to chat. I thought they were trolling me. Hot you bears. Guys, <laughs> your guys is uh, uh, autism and attention to detail. No, no bounds. So I appreciate that chat. And I mean that a lot. I'm it almost got me choked up. It's a little I don't care. Plus you're white. Thank you. <sighs> whoever got it seriously though whoever got it legit if if, if we can hey, figure buddy, out i hope that piano gets built back you up suck. again soon you got this man thank you guys autism skill tree maxed out <laughs> <laughs> who found that so weird dude what a great 48 hours it's been holy shit i'm bricked up i have loved having to uh obsessively refresh the subreddit and uh Horse put out egg? small fires as they pop up Please be and then watch as people sit there and don't Post browse man. the subreddit. They'll just check the headline and they're like, why does Wubby care so much? This isn't bad. Bro, the amount of shit Didn't that ask. has been thrown in my face in the last two days is insane. So much of this community is such a fair weather community, right? The second they can catch you for something they can feel morally superior on, it's time to unload things that uh, they've been waiting to say. And you know what's worse about it? The people with real opinions who still care about me, y'all get overshadowed so hard. You do. You get so overshadowed. And it, oh, you're getting one guy to be. Let me tell you, boys. This is the furthest from a one guy. This is the good old days of the Wubby subreddit. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen a shitstorm like this. We went six layers of meta. 
I saw people That's complaining true. about people joking about the horse Kim Kardashian ship. That's how deep we went. People say, who cares? I cares. This is my community. It sucks when I check my subreddit and it's on fire. It sucks to see that. And it sucks even more so. I think you know what it is? There's things that you guys need to understand about content creation. If you let too many things ling linger, you're going to end up with Rant Grump subreddit. If you don't shut things down when they're starting and, and they're getting out of hand, they linger and they get worse and they get worse. That's why the subreddit has been pretty good for a while. Because we don't let them linger, right? When there's, when there's a post that is just, hey, I'm going to make stuff up to shit on Wubby, and there's comments supporting it, I have to get in there and either remove it or say something. Lock it. If I let that linger, that's telling my community I'm going to allow that to happen. The house always does win. I am... Oh, hot dog. Ooh, I'll take a bite of that. What's this from? This is from a mystery stream. <gasps> Um, I, the house always wins, so I am playing Wubby Ramp Bingo tonight, and I do plan on walking out of here with Bingo for me. And if anybody has a problem with that, they can, uh, suck my ass, because yes, I am playing along, okay? Don't think that you guys get to be the only ones who are having fun on tonight's stream. I'm playing too. So first off, uh, take the free. Uh, Old Frog's watching! I care a lot about you, Old Frog's, okay? Horse Kim Kardashian right up the- Oh, the subreddit is fucking retarded. Uh, there's that. Oh, I- Ignores main point of argument. Okay, I'm- Damn it, I went for the wrong row. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna do that this evening. Uh, that kind of does suck, so I'm gonna go for- I'm done. Uh, guys, I'm done talking about it! Calls or talks to Alex? I got 20 minutes for that, so this is- Damn it, I keep picking the wrong rows here! Uh, I made my money? I wouldn't say that. That's ridiculous. Derails because of chat? You mean streams? Fucking idiot. Uh, I'm not your dad. I'm not. Factual. Insults random Redditor. If I could click this one twice, I would. Let me land! Let me land, chat bingo! Okay, but for real, if you want to play along at home, some- I will say, some of these are like, I never do shit like this. But okay. Calls other streamers worse. You th you know, where's- I have a question. If we're gonna do this, where's the subreddit bingo? Where's bad faith arguments? Where's complete fabrications? Where is taking my argument and boiling it down to bullshit? Where is that, chat? Where's 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 subreddit bingo, right? Some of you are uh, like uh, some of the most gross people I've ever seen, and 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 I'm not okay. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna talk through this shit because I want a chance to respond. Also, shouts out to Booty. Booty lent me his fireside background for this. Hey chat, how you guys doing? We need to talk. Um, I have things to say. You guys had a lot to say. Uh, I have things to, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to be fair. I'm going to uh, own up to certain things. Um, but unfortunately, like everything in this community, like everything I've ever done online, unfortunately, you guys, you just, you just take it too far. You take it, you take it too far. Every time, no matter what it is, you just take it way too fucking far. And unfortunately, we're going to have to uh, weed out some of those people today. Uh, because uh, you're not, I don't want these people welcome here. I, I don't want them to feel like this is a safe space. And I want them to find another community. And I want them to go you parasocially suck. insert themselves into that community. And I don't want anything from them ever again. I'm going to go through... And I'm not going, to, I'm going to do my best to not cherry pick. And I'm going to do my best to respond to what, to what I think Chorzo is let me real, land, let me land, please. is real criticism. I'm going to address it fairly. Okay. And then I'm going to pivot to my issues with this community and why every time this stuff happens, I just sit there and I go, I think it's time to retire every time it happens. So first. There are, I, I read through the majority of the Reddit. I have been keeping a close eye on Reddit for the last two days because, for two reasons. One, because I do think this... I, 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 I mod my own Reddit more than anybody else, and I think that sometimes posts get very out of hand, and that is not beneficial to the community. And removing them or responding in them to make sure if there's misinformation, I can correct it, helps. It always helps. Uh, and I've read most of the comments. I've read the main posts that made it to the top of the Reddit. I read most of the comments in there. That's hundreds of comments. And I think I've been able, and I hope, uh, I'm going to put chat into emote only mode right now because I actually want to say some important things real quick. I've heard what I think to be the real concerns, and I'm going to show you the two top posts 
that made it to the top of the subreddit uh, because these are arguably what most people uh, felt because they were the top of the subreddit. And they're also some of the more fair criticisms that I'm happy to respond to. Okay, so the first one, this was the top of the sub for two days. The title is, I'm out. And it's a small paragraph that I'm gonna read and then respond to with, okay? Uh, I'm out, which by the way, well, I'll get to that. Wubby, I love you and your content, but I can't support a sponsored gambling stream. It's funny when you use it at a bit of a stream and use your uh, own money, but sponsored sponsorships from shady gambling companies, companies and getting viewers into it is where I draw the line. I've shit on XQC and Train for doing the same thing, and even if you're from my favorite streamer, I'm gonna hold you to the same standard. Hope it goes well. See you Friday. I actually don't have a problem with this post at all, uh, at all. I think that you're allowed to draw your morality line in the sand wherever you feel. And if it's uh, at poker sponsorships, then uh, if that's too much for you, if, if you think that's so immoral you can't watch the content, that's fine with me. And if you want to let people know you feel that way, that's fine with me. I have no problem with this post. There you go. That's actually the end of that. Not going to scream at you. Uh, if you're asking my opinion, which nobody did, but I'll share it. Personally, I view poker not the same as like a uh, a uh, slot machine or a slots or a casino sponsorship. I view them differently. I'm not gonna argue you should. I'm not gonna argue they are. I'm saying for me, my morality line isn't there. I've been saying this for years. Now I saw people picking small clips for me in the past criticizing gambling sponsorships. Yeah, absolutely. I think that full blown casino slot machine, millions of dollars, non-disclosing gambling sponsorships are wrong. Uh, and I still stand by that. I think that in my mind, and I'm not arguing this, I put poker different and I'm allowed to. It's my stream. I view it as a different morality thing than you do and that's okay. That's the end of that. We, you, this guy said it best. He said, I'll see you Friday. Cool. That's the end of that conversation and I'm okay with that. And I'm not gonna sit here and convince anyone that uh, uh, I think that you should think poker is okay. I'm not gonna sit here and convince anyone that you should think advertising poker is morally acceptable. I just personally do. And I felt that way for years and nothing, that's the way it is. Uh, I appreciate your opinion. I will say the funniest comment in this whole thread was, hey, the, this community, this subreddit isn't an airport. You don't have to announce like your departure. But That's that being true. said, that is a funny comment, but like you're allowed to do this. You're allowed to make that post and you're allowed to say, hey, I don't think, I think that steak sponsorships and poker sponsorships are the same and you're wrong for doing it. You can say that and I can say, okay, fair enough. I don't agree. Cool. Fair. I'm not gonna convince you guys that you're less moral than I am or I'm more moral than you are. All right? That's all I have to say about the people who are saying I have an, a problem with you promoting poker. I have nothing more to say about that. Fair? I'm gonna take out email only mode and we're gonna move on to the next point, okay? Because I don't think I'd be sitting here today even talking to you guys at all if that was all the subreddit did. If the comments in the subreddit were, hey, I agree, uh, personally, I have issues with gambling as a whole and watching Welby promote poker makes me uneasy, so I'm gonna sit out, I can't support it on those days he streams poker. Okay, that, yeah, I totally get it. And guess what? I'm not over the moon about streaming poker either. I wanted their money. I wanted their money. There were the contingencies I said, I wanted chat to be able to join for free and I wanted their fucking money and I'm taking their money. And it, I, I, I personally, see poker as much different than uh, slots. Anyway, so that's that. And I honestly think this would not even be happening if, uh, if that's what all that was on the subreddit. Unfortunately for this guy who made this post, and I honestly feel bad for him uh, because he, may, he had to put an edit into his own post saying, hey, can we not make this a hate thread? Because as always, criticism on the subreddit, that's fair, for whatever reason, opens the door for cockroach human beings. Horrible human beings who clearly don't watch the content, don't care, are, are long distance viewers, piece of shit losers who are like, finally, my chance to take a shot at the king. Here we go. And just to prove that, I'm not going to go through all 476 comments on this thread, but just some, some emotionally angry comments that I think are a little strange 
That's the low end. The high end is just fabrications, made up shit, talking with authority about me and my team, the morality of Alex and Booty and just crazy shit that it's like, okay, why are you, how can you handle online content creation? It's, it's, it blows let me land, my let mind. Me land, please. This guy put an edit. He said, hey, if you think I made this post as a hate threat against Wubby, you're retarded. And he goes on to explain that's not what this was meant to be, and it sucks that it's turning into that. So I'm not going to go. Uh, you guys did no research. Oh, the amount of people who said Wubby is throwing his viewers to a meat grinder to get scammed. Wubby is promoting a fraudulent card room. The amount of people speaking with authority who I guarantee, I guarantee have never done, have never been involved in the online poker scene, have never been involved in stream, just confidently accusing me of fraud and confidently accusing me of scamming my audience. Um, so I'm going to address that. I think I've addressed the morality thing fair. If you think I've misrepresented your post, my guy, let me know privately and I'd love to talk to you about it privately. I think how you... Uh, responded was fair and i don't take any offense to your post even slightly so thank you for sharing your opinion with me and i hope you continue to watch content that isn't poker all right so the second highest post uh this was the second largest post of the day uh which was another post dedicated to explaining why fuck this poker shit this one is the one that i do take problem with and this is by far what I saw on the subreddit, both in the comments and the massive amount of posts that got no upvotes, but just people just airing their shit. Bunch of comments, random posts. This is the one that, the highest rated one, I think it's only fair. You can't call it cherry picking when it was the top of the sub. So this post, I can't watch or support this content, sorry. And the post has a uh, screenshot of the America's Card Room uh, trust pilot rating. If you don't know what trust pilot is, it's a site where users can submit um, reviews of a website. And the rating of this America's Card Room, the sponsorship I took, is a 1.3 stars. It's a terrible rating. We're going to talk about that and I'm going to address it, but that is the thumbnail image of this post. So this guy posted, Hey, uh, Wubby, uh, I love you, but I can't support gambling stream. That's totally okay, my brother. In fact, the beauty of this gambling stream is I'll get paid if none of you sign up, and that's how I wanted it. I get the, I do not get referrals. I do not get more money if more of you sign up. So that's the way I wanted it. That is what I worked with my management company to get uh, a deal on, and I get paid the same amount if I have zero viewers on that day and I have zero signups. That's how I wanted it. So you saying you can't support the gambling stream, my brother, God bless you. I love you. I appreciate your support. I'll see you on the next stream. Okay. So he says, uh, I can't support gambling along with things I've seen about the site. I just can't support it. Okay. So now we're not, it's, he's saying morally, but also the site is why I can't support it. And this is where I take issue with, uh, nothing against Wubby or his team. I don't think he would scam us. I'm not calling him a scammer. I'm just saying the sponsor is super sketchy. So this guy softballs me, and I appreciate it. I do think there's a heavy, heavy implication of, hey, this site's scamming people, and you're supporting it. Uh, this guy's softballing it. That's probably why this made it to the top of the subreddit, because he was really nice about it. Let me be very clear. The majority of the subreddit was not softballing. I'm not going to do what you guys think I do, and I'm going to take out my belt and whip some of you retards into shape. I'm not going to do that. But feel free to search through the subreddit. Most of it's been downvoted. Most of it's gone at this point. But a lot of the comments that are still there are like, Wubby's a scammer. Like, he is just scamming us. How could he do this to us? How could he throw us to the meat grinder? How could he take our money? We'll get to that. This guy's softballing it. But granted, he is still saying, I am promoting a scam website. Uh, he said, you guys should be careful about it. I'm glad Wubby's making a bag. Thank you, brother. Uh, but the site's a little weird, and I'm hoping on Friday he can prove us wrong. Bro, I appreciate this post. Thank you for at least giving me the opportunity to explain myself. That means a lot. So many of you don't want me to explain myself. I, it's ridiculous. You just want to be mad. If you want to be mad, let me tell you guys. Go to Twitter right now and just search up OTK. There's something to go be actually mad about, all right? Let me explain myself why I took a gambling poker sponsorship before you come for me, all right? Thank you. So, this guy said, here's a list of weird things about America's Card Room, the 
uh, site that I'm promoting with the poker streams, okay? So for, he has a list of seven, and I would like to go through all of these with you guys now. Again, Bingo says Wubby's gonna misrepresent the main point of an argument. I don't know how I could possibly be doing that since I'm go, Jesus fucking Christ, who cares? Hey, retard, I care and I'm banning you. And apparently the subreddit cared because it's all they've talked about for two days. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you, dude? Go wipe down the fucking tables, bozo, okay? All right, I want a new drink with fresh ice. Who the fuck cares? Who the fuck cares? Fucking retard. Apparently half the fuck, look, apparently 13,000 motherfuckers care. How about you go live? How, how about you go live and tell us about your day? Huh? You wake up, you tie your shoes, you trip. How about that? Who cares? Bingo? Yeah. Bingo this dick. Dumbass fucking retard. Actually kill yourself. I don't give a fuck. You're fucking stupid. Who cares? Dumbass. Anyway, like I said, I'm not going to go in on the people who are giving me actual constructive criticism. Like, you're in my chat, you dumbass. Who cares? You're literally going to a movie and you're like, uh, why? This is, who cares? Walk away! Idiot! In a video game? What? I, I, oh, I'm, everything I say is in the context of Minecraft? Idiots. Anyway. If you got bingo though, make sure you let me know. So, this guy made a list of seven. Here, I'll show you. Don't read ahead, but there's the post. You can check it. There's the second post on the subreddit. Thank you, Wubaka. Okay. Here is why this guy believes America's card room is sketchy. Makes you download an EXE, which is weird for a poker app. So, I'm just gonna come right out and say, no, it's not. You've proven right now that the rest of this post, to me, I shouldn't take what you're saying as someone from a state of authority because that's not true. I'm, I hate to break it to you, but a lot of poker apps online for online poker use EXEs. A lot of them do. That's how it works. That's how it's been for decades. Uh, so I don't know why, and I understand not knowing that, but then why is this post on the top of my subreddit? Because that means everybody else who upvoted it didn't realize that because it's not true. I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm not coming for you. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings here, but makes you download an exe which is weird for a poker app that's not weird for a poker app i i don't know what to tell you it's an app most of these poker sites use apps it's not weird you can di here's the thing there are going to be people on my chat that are still going to argue with me and tell me you're wrong you're lying this is cope and here's the thing, right? I can't convince you guys, and I'm never going to, and I don't want your viewership, and I don't want your money, okay? But if you're one of the people sitting there going, I am morally against gambling, I still want you here. If you're one of those people who's going, you're lying, the poker shit doesn't use EX, I don't want you here. You're not willing to listen. You are one of the people who's a part of the hate threads, not someone who's wanting to have a conversation with me. So one, makes you download EXE, which is weird for poker apps. No, it's not. It's not weird. I'm sorry, it's not. You can look into it yourself. It is not weird for poker apps. Two, the launcher you downloaded now has to download the rest of the app, which is 115 megabytes. That's not weird. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Having a launcher download the app is not weird. That's actually super normal. I've had multiple friends, including random people who were against me on the subreddit, run this through something I didn't know. It's called... Uh, uh, VirusTotal.com, which actually gives you a full report. It scans the, uh, what is it, scan the executable or whatever it scanned, and they found nothing. This isn't weird. This isn't uncommon. You just don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't know how to convince somebody that they're so clueless on a topic because nothing, I, I have to use language that you wouldn't even understand in order to convince you you're wrong, and I don't think you care that much, right? I, 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 I don't know what to tell you, but the launcher you downloaded now has to download the rest of the app, which is 150 megabytes. Y yeah, that's not... You saying that as your second point tells me you do not need to be in this conversation, my brother. I'm sorry, but th that's... N I, I don't know what else to say. That's not weird, okay? Uh, three, you can't delete your account on the website. You have to delete your account through the app. I, I don't... I'm sorry, again... What? That that means that they're that means that I'm promoting a fraudulent scam? Remember, we're trying to argue here that Wubby, his team, and his peers and his management agency did not vet this properly. That's a big claim in my opinion. You're gonna need stronger points to prove that. Okay. You can say sketchy AF all you want, but when people start calling me fraudulent and calling me promoting a literal scam, you're going to need stronger arguments you can say i don't like the site i don't like the ui and they're a little scummy okay yeah 
In fact, you know what? Let's do it. I'll be on your same team. The UI sucks. There's some thing they want you to keep playing poker. Yeah, I fucking agree. But you, I'm drawing the line at calling me a scammer and calling me promoting something fraudulent. And that's what I'm arguing against right now. Okay, so let me continue. Um, their support team uh, finally lets me send an email requesting my account be deleted. I don't know what that point is. That's not a point. Uh, their unsubscribe link in their email doesn't work and you have to talk to customer service. So I agree with that. That fucking sucks. So I messaged them. I messaged my rep. I asked them, question for you. Why doesn't the unsubscribe from the newsletter link work on America's Cardroom site? And why do we have to contact support? When they get back to me, I will let you know. I will find out what the reason is because that annoys me. But that being said, uh, I don't think that means they're going to pull your credit card and swipe it like people accuse them of doing. Okay, that's a fair point. I don't think that makes it proof of scamming people out of money, but uh, okay, fair enough. And then the last and final point, the one that, uh, yeah, the site's just old as fuck in my opinion. I think that's what's happening there. Uh, the last and final point that I saw echoed and used as a main thing to shit down me and my team's throat is the trust pilot score of 93% of the reviews being one star. Once again, here is what that looks like. America's card room, 93, 94%, 1.3 star. It is a bad review. You should not trust this site according to trust pilot. So allow me to address that point because that is the smoking gun. That is what hundreds, if not thousands of you on the subreddit used to say, Wubby, how could you not look into this for us? Hundreds, if not thousands of you were using that as your main source to say, I can't believe Wubby would do this to viewers who support him. I can't believe uh, uh, Wubby would promote a scam. Look at these reviews. Look at what people are accusing. America's card room of this is a scam and Wubby should have known this and and his greed has gotten the best of him He's seeing green. How could he do this to us? So um, Allow me to share something with you uh, I've known about the trust pilot score. I knew about that before taking the sponsorship um, and I also even uh, I was looking at the subreddit. I really wanted to type this out, but I decided to wait and give myself a, more, a stronger argument So I, I, I did that um, Trust pilot score. Wait, hold on. Uh, what are you spamming? Trust, oh, yeah. The trust pilot score of Twitch, by the way, as Ham just pointed out, is 1.5 stars. Something to keep in mind, but who cares? That's, 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 I don't need to point at somebody else and say, look how bad they're doing. That's why you should trust me. But I think that should put it in a little perspective, the heat that I'm about to bring on you retards, okay? Because get ready. Uh, so, I know why... America's card room has That's a low true. trust pilot score. I know why. I know why a lot of websites have a low trust pilot score. I know why I don't use trust pilot because I don't trust pilot. Okay. So, but I thought that wasn't enough. My chat, my community didn't seem to get that on the subreddit. My community could not fathom that this was anything other than people got scammed and now they're outing America's card room. Okay. 20 years worth of scams and fraudulent shit, and they're still up and running, promoting on mainstream platforms like Twitch, doing huge charity events with Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. No, they're scamming you out of your 20 bucks, and how dare Wubby allow that to happen? So, I thought, because my word isn't good enough, apparently, my word means nothing to the majority of my subreddit last the past couple days, right? Now, not this poster, but the people in the comments, all these people thought the TrustPod score was enough to say the site is a scam. So I took the liberty of doing something very interesting. Yesterday, I wrote, I typed this out, so I'm reading this out. Yesterday, I was dragged, this was, this was said a lot. I was dragged for not doing my due diligence regarding America's card room. One of the key points that people were making was the TrustPod score of 1.3. There are currently, at the time of typing, this was at, which was at 6.56 p.m. PST, there were currently uh, 258 reviews on Trustpilot for America's Card Room. I went through and read every single review. I categorized them based on what the person was complaining about. 31 of those reviews 
were people complaining about bad customer service. I'm not getting a response fast enough. It's been a week. It's been a couple weeks. 47 of those reviews were people complaining about the site in general. This category was kind of all encompassing. This was, for example, if somebody just put the word, I hate this site, or if somebody said scam, but with no explanation or no story, just out of context, I'm mad. 47 people were in that category. Okay. 19 of these were stories of accused scam of people saying I was scammed and here's why. However, there's no proof or evidence or action or anything that happened from any of those stories. I looked at them all. I followed these people's reviews. Uh, I couldn't find any. It was, it was accusations. Of the 236 one-star reviews, 144 of the reviews are people complaining that they lost money playing poker. I categorize this section based off of people who referenced a specific hand they played, a specific game they played, them using the word rigged, using the words RNG, a story from gameplay resulting in money lost. 144 of the 236 one-star reviews on America's Card Room are people bitching clearly about them losing money. Now, let me be clear here. I'm sure there are even more reviews that I categorize into different camps that, where people lost money and are now salty. I'm sure there's a lot of those reviews, actually. I only pulled the ones that specifically reference, I flopped King King and, and I can't, the river took my money. Actual scam, I knew they're scamming, RNG, bullshit. So now, let me be clear. Let's say you wanna go through and you think I did a bad categorization. That's totally fine. Combine all three other camps, bad customer service, random complaining, and fraud accusations. That still does not even put a dent into the 144 complaints about money lost due to gambling mistakes, okay? You guys are gonna sit here and you're gonna drag me on the subreddit for 48 hours for not doing my due diligence, yet you did not do your due diligence. You did not sit there and read these fucking reviews. How dare any of you have the nerve to sit there and go, Wubby didn't do his research. Not only did I do my research, but I went further. I took it a step further, okay? Sorry, most of the reviews on there, skill issue. Most of them, skill issue. Almost more than half of the reviews. Skill issue. Now, hold on. I'm seeing people now going, Wubby, this isn't the point. Wubby, That's this true. isn't the issue. Uh, yes, it is. I'm literally addressing this post. I don't know what you mean this isn't the issue. Okay? Do not turn tune into stream late and sit here and go, Wubby, this isn't with a point that I was making. I'm not talking to you, you fucking retard. I'm talking to this guy. This was the second top post. We already addressed the top post. This is the second top post. Okay? What do you mean? What do you mean I'm not addressing the issue? Shut the fuck up, okay? Shut your stupid mouth. I'm serious, you're, you're being ridiculous here. Alex, do you wanna hear me scream for a bit? And not to mention, I, I do think this is a weak argument, but it's, it, I think it's noteworthy. Twitch has a what, 1.5 star rating on Trustpilot? You shouldn't trust Trustpilot. You can have your opinions about everything we've said. You need to remove Trustpilot from your vocabulary as an argument. And what I'm saying, the majority of people who are fuming. We're like, look at this trust pilot shit, dude. How could you do this to us? Anyway, okay, um, I hold this. I'm in the poker scene. I'm in the poker scene. America's card room is 10,000% reputable. All these are, no yeah, dude, anyone in the poker scene knows that. I've, you know how many fucking people who play poker for a living in, in this community reached out to me and they're like, dude, I think your subreddit is 12 years old. I'm like, yeah, I fucking know. Where were these people when everyone was on the ride for you playing in Ludwig, Ludwig's poker tournament? Well, they're inconsistent. They found something that they believe they could be morally superior to me at. They, everyone wanted me to play in Ludwig's poker tournament, which was just an ad, right? It's all an ad. It, I mean, here's the thing, right? I understand, I'm not talking about this guy, and I'm not talking about this guy. These people gave me very fair criticisms that I'm addressing very fairly, okay? I'm not mad at these people. I'm mad at the idiots in my chat and the idiots on this subreddit who dragged me, who didn't know his research. They didn't look into anything. They saw an old looking UI that looks gross, that looks sus, and they went, Wubby's promoting a scam, and I knew it. I knew he was a piece of shit. I always knew it. The last thing I wanna say 
is uh, somebody mentioned last night, uh, Wubby, you, you referenced all these other streamers who did it. That doesn't make it okay. So I want to clarify that. If I wasn't clear, I put that on me. So allow me to clarify what I meant when I mentioned other streamers. Um, people said that, Wubby, you can't bring up old Ludwig and Schlatt did it, so it's okay. If I, that's how it came off. I apologize. That's not what I meant. Here's what I, here's what, I'm going to put it back in email only mode. Sorry, I just, I just can't. Some of you are just, uh, here's what I mean by that. I trust myself and my research. I trust my team. I trust my management company. All those people, right? That's one form of trust. I also trust Ludwig's team and Ludwig. I also trust Schlatt's team and Schlatt. I'm not saying Ludwig did it, so I'm morally allowed to promote what I want. That's not what I was saying, and I apologize if that's how I came off, okay? So people keep using that against me. Well, Wubby, you sound like a child referencing all these people who did it as well. That's not what I meant. I'm sorry if I came off that way. I'm saying I trust my people, and I also trust that Ludwig trusts his people, and I trust Ludwig. It's that simple. I don't think an, an A-list, you know, uh, uh, the pretty boy of the internet would happily sit here and kick his feet up and promote a scam. I don't think he would do that. I think he would vet it as hard as I did. So that just adds to my trust of this company, okay? Thank you very much. Did, did, you hear the, did you hear the reviews I went through? Yeah. Oh, that felt so good. Because here's the thing, I knew that the reviews were because people were salty, but getting to actually put numbers to it and go through it all was like the most validating. Actually... <laughs> I went through every single review. I even uh, have some honorable mentions here. Oh. I took some screenshots of some of the funniest <laughs> ones because I read every single one of them. Some of these are unhinged. There was one dude, in fact, uh, Ben Landa is his name. Sorry for the docs, Ben, but he made three one-star reviews. He was that mad. He was like, oh, Jesus, come. Holy shit. He's, he's like, I'm not, so I'm not mad I lost money on their site one time. I'm mad I lost money on their site three times. Uh, uh, here's, here's some honorable mentions here. Uh, this is a good one here, one of my favorites. Have you this, it? Have, did you just tune that out? Like it didn't even... Well, I'm so mad and in the zone that I can't, I can't focus on anything else. Here's, this is a good one, though. You're going to want to see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's one where the, this guy, one-star review, uh, calls for the CEO to get shot in the face. So, you know, you, here's the thing. Chad is, has the decision to make, right? They can trust me or they can trust, uh, 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 uh I'm not even going to read this, uh, who said that Phil Nagy, the CEO, should get shot in the face. You can trust this guy over me. I guess that's, I mean, it, sure, I guess. I, I personally don't. Uh, here's another one. Here's, here's another fantastic one-star review. I love a little bit of racism. Crooks. They're out of, they're, but they're a Puerto Rican, so what do you expect but dishonesty? See, these are the kind of one-star reviews that I love contributed to that number because now every time somebody references them, I go, oh, okay, that's fair, I guess. Sure. There's one of the 144. There's just, I mean, here's the thing, right? You might be saying, well, Wubby, you're cherry-picking bad reviews. You guys are right, and I'm sorry. It's just, there's just so many to choose from, you know? There's so many one-star salty I lost money reviews that, you know, uh, probably, oh, here, okay. Here's, here's an example of what I mean by, uh, Oh, this guy was funny too. This is another one I found really funny. This guy destroyed, you can, I'll, I'm not gonna read it all. This guy destroyed his own laptop after losing a couple of hands. <laughs> he destroyed, and he blames them. He blames them. He's like, I destroyed my laptop, da, da, da. Again, I, I, you can trust these people over me and I'm okay with that. Okay, have fun. Uh, where is it, where is it? Oh, here we go. This is, this is, okay. This is one of my favorite ones. I have lost so many times with pocket pair going to the river always. It's like a fucking curse. And now there's talking. I'm sick of it. There was a moment. I was up two, I was up 2K. Then poof, so many bad beats. It was insane. I was going five today, going into the Sunday 5K with 933K chips. I got pocket pair three times in a row and lost all three to an all-in donks catching two pair. It's insane! You could be 90% winning and you will always lose on the river. I told myself today, this was, now we're switching all caps. I believe ACR is rigged. Yeah, bucko. You lost. You lost. Okay. Uh, hold on. There was, there was, this is the other thing that you're going to see a lot of, by the way, if anybody wants to sift through all of them. Uh, this is one that I loved. I could classify these instantly as hose mad. What do you see here that stands out? Yeah, uh, K K3, K2, K... Uh, they're, like, dude, you're explaining your hands. That's it. The, the, the conversation is over. You are explaining what hand you lost money on. The conversation is over. Uh, so, 
anyway, that's my response to the trust pod score. So in in uh, I, I'm not gonna say in closing, but again, I addressed the morality, and I think that's a fair criticism, and you're allowed to feel that way. Uh, and now I addressed, uh, I went through this, the top post that wasn't about morality. I went through that and explained each one of those points why I, I don't agree with them. And the only valid points I said, yeah, I, I want an answer on, and I'm going to get an answer on. But I don't think if I'm, if you're coming into stream and you had those posts and you had what I've said, I don't think those posts are going to be more convincing than what I'm saying. Um, okay. Last but not least, I'm, I'm sorry to this person. There's someone who's going to get dragged here a little bit and they've already apologized. But I want to point this out. So, well, there's two actually. Uh, first, and then we're done. Two, two screenshots and then we're done. Okay, my, I think I kinked my neck screaming. Here's the first post that I wanted to address. This was, uh, I, got, I, I, I believe I locked this thread very early because I was seeing where it was going. Um, but I just want to address something in this post. So this guy said he's, he's mad at me for America's Carbon, blah, blah. The tournament crashed and all these things. I'll talk about that too if you guys want. But uh, okay. So then he says, I can understand removing comments or posts that are just trolling or rude in general. It's perfectly fine. Okay, while well, last night's stream should not have happened, I think it's even... Okay, keep in mind. I think it's even worse to remove the VOD, take down respectable Reddit posts, and ban the word scam. None of those things are true. And this hurts. This is where I actually feel legitimate pain, and it actually hurts me. Outside of stream, Dennis Richardson, I actually feel hurt when this happens. Uh, okay, so Mr. Mustache just pointed something out. The word scam has been banned in my chat for years. Uh, and it was a lot of words get banned in my chat because uh, we'll have someone come in. Something happens. A huge spam fest happens. And then one of my mods will ban it. It's that simple. There's a lot of terms on there that it's like... Oh, I didn't even know that was banned. So first off, scam has been banned since before I took any uh, sponsorship, since before most of you were viewers. Uh, the word scam has been banned. I have since unbanned the word because I wasn't even aware it was banned. I spoke with my mods. Nobody knew it was banned. It's been banned for years. There's one, okay? So this person is just making things up. The second thing he accused me of is removing the VOD. The VOD is public. It was never removed. It has never been removed. Uh, I, I, I never intended on hiding the VOD. I don't know why you're saying this with authority. It actually deeply hurts me that you are confidently making things up on my subreddit about me in an attempt to, I don't know what, but I'll tell you what it does. It causes hate. It causes people to shit on me. It causes people to come for me. It causes people to come for my friends and people I care about. And you're just lying and that hurts and that's fucked up and you should feel bad. You, you should feel bad. You were wrong and you should feel bad. Uh, then he says, doing things like this to make it seem that constructive criticism isn't welcome and it gives the appearance that what they knew what they were doing on stream and they probably knew they shouldn't have been doing it. That's what this guy says here. Um, so now he's taken something that he has made up and he has now used it to justify an even worse take. And this post was getting upvotes and getting comments and getting support and being like, wow, Wubby, that's a fucked up thing to do. And it wasn't true. And that sucks. And it sucks that uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach my subreddit some advice that they're actually trying to teach me. You guys should do some uh, due diligence when you see accusations be made. Much like your favorite streamer taking a poker uh, sponsorship from a company you don't think is good. Uh, when somebody makes accusations that are false, it really sucks that they get upvoted and commented and supported instead of nuked off of the subreddit. Uh, so... I think if you're going to hold me to that standard, which by the way, I would argue I do, I did do due diligence on this sponsorship. When, when somebody makes accusations about me that are just made up, I would hope some of you would j throw your hat in the ring and go, this is bullshit. And you know what sucks? I saw people doing that. They were getting downvoted so hard, their comments would be hidden. There were a pack of probably a few hundred of you last night who were on my subreddit downvoting anything that wasn't fuck wubby because they didn't want it seen including people just making shit up. I mean, it's just made, I don't even need to read the rest of this post. The basis of this argument is fabricated. That shit hurts. I, it sucked to see that. And this next one's not gonna be fun, um, but I'm gonna show it anyway. And I wanna be clear before going into this. Uh, this man, I respect him. He has already apologized. He removed the post, but, but 
This post was up for a while, and it was already climbing to the top of the subreddit before it got removed by him. So I'm going to show you this because it's important, because this shit legitimately threw gasoline on a fire. And for, for a time while this was up, the subreddit was in disarray. Here it is. I dislike joining the Webby hate bandwagon, but I legitimately got scammed out of $44. Boom. First sentence in. This man is accusing me or my sponsor of legitimately scamming or stealing money from him. He didn't say, I think. He didn't say, I might have. He said, I legitimately got scammed. I trusted Wubby and foolishly gave this gambling site my info today. Boom. Second sentence. Blames me. I looked at my account and an unknown transaction happened. Everyone who put their info, please check your bank accounts to see if Amazon, whatever, pops up as a scam. I froze my accounts, but man, this sucks. Two hours later, this man makes a post saying, hey, my bad. I was wrong. It was my Amazon. I know he apologized. And I know so many of you were in that thread saying, hey, man, hey, it takes a big guy to apologize. I'm not so gentle. Um, he can apologize to me all he wants. But for the hours that this post was gaining traction and I just sat there and st stared at it like, holy fuck, this guy is so confidently wrong and 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 my community is getting more and more riled up over this this is causing legitimate damage to the way viewers are viewing me and it's just not true i was overwhelmed and and legitimately hurt when i saw the post come out that he was like hey i'm really sorry but i was actually wrong i removed the post i'm sorry i was like dude Sorry ain't gonna fix the people who saw this post and then left the subreddit and didn't check it again. Sorry ain't gonna fix that. It's, uh, it's fucked up. And I think that if you're gonna sit here and anyone's gonna sit here and they're gonna hold me to a standard, boys, look at yourself in the mirror. This is so, so, so unacceptable. I know he apologized. I know he did. But this is, it's just, I don't know what else to say. It's so fucking unacceptable. And I was so mad about it. I was so, I, 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 I didn't even want to stream today because of it. I was just like, this guy is accusing me of fraud casually and with full confidence. And here's why it's not just his fault. Almost everyone in the comment section agreed with him. Almost every single person in the comment section was on his side. Where's my apology from all 101 of you? What about the 34 comments? Where's my apology? This, I mean, really, how would you guys like to be accused of something with no evidence, with certainty, and everyone who supports you starts agreeing? It sucks. It's fucked up. Nobody fucking scammed this guy but his own dumb ass. Okay? Nobody did. It wasn't my sponsor, I'll tell you that. They didn't fucking scam, scam him at all. Because they don't do that. So, I know this guy apologized. I, it's like, yeah, I appreciate the apology, but, you know, I'm going to quote my boy, uh, 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 Atreus here, you know, I don't want you to be sorry, I, be better, I, this, sh like, sorry isn't going to fix the damage this did, <laughs> sorry doesn't fix this damage, not doing it will, so that's my message, uh, to everybody here, sorry isn't going to fix it, you know, just be better in the future, now, in closing, in closing, to end it here, uh, if you don't like the gambling streams, if you don't like the poker streams, by the way, poker, I want to be clear. When we say gambling, some of you who didn't watch the stream might think I'm doing a steak or a casino sponsorship. Nope. I'm doing poker. I do a poker tournament. That's what I'm hosting. That's what we do. If you have a problem with poker, if you have a problem with gambling as a whole, and that includes poker, uh, that's okay. I'm not going to convince you that I'm morally better than you. I don't think I am. We probably disagree on other things as well. I respect it. You don't have to watch. You don't even have to like me. I understand, okay? To the people who are saying America's card room is a scam, I feel I've adequately proved that you either have more work to do to prove it's a scam, you might know something I don't, but I think that I've adequately addressed all of the claims that they're a scam to the best of my ability. Their site looks sketchy and that's a fair complaint, right? But I think I've addressed everything else. I don't think I cherry picked. I don't think I targeted certain people that didn't deserve to be targeted. I only pulled up specific people when I felt what they did was so important for me to communicate is something I don't want to happen. 
overall, the main posts on the subreddit that did well, I respect you guys for saying what you said. We have no problem. To the, to the, to the commenters, to the people who blindly upvote and downvote because you're mad, because you're salty, do better. Be better. You owe it to the world. You owe it to your friends. You owe it to the content creators you watch. Do better. It's fucked up. Have a little faith in us, please. Okay? And if you don't, quit spreading fucking misinformation. I, I don't know what else to say. Quit spreading misinformation. Where else does it go from there? You can't tell me that wasn't misinformation because it was. Now, I know some people are wondering, well, what happened at the tournament? So the tournament crashed. Originally, they were trying to pull up all the results. Okay? Didn't I ask. was like... I was like, fuck it, that's taking too long. Just pay out the top 20 people. They're like, okay. The next day, America's Card Room messaged me. They go, we're actually able to pull out the stats. We're going to pay people exactly where they were when the tournament crashed. I said, that works for me. And then I'm like, also, the tournament crashed. Do something about it. That's fucked up. They said, okay, we're refunding everybody everything. If you put in money, you already got it back. Okay? And guess what? If you didn't download the app, don't download it. I don't give a fuck. I don't get fucking paid if you put money in. I don't get fucking paid if you download the app. Don't do it. Don't even watch the fucking stream. I don't care. Okay? I'll be here doing great game shows with Booty and Alex and the crew still. Just show up for that. That's fine with me. Uh, but yeah, as far as the tournament goes, every by the way, everyone already got paid. The payment has already been sent to everyone who had to get paid. The winners got paid. The bounties got paid. Shouts out to my boy who made like eight grand that stream. That's already in his account. Good for him. Congrats, brother. Um, every, every, uh, if you guys put money in to, to play in the tournament, which you didn't have to do, by the way, you could play for free, but if you did put money in, it's all been refunded to you because I felt that the tournament was a wash and it pissed me off. They happily refunded it all. Yes, what Alex just said is important. Even if you got knocked out, you're getting refunded. Everything's getting refunded. It's like it didn't happen because I felt bad. You suck. Uh, and to the bingo people and to all those people, I hope that you see that I didn't come out here and crack the belt. I didn't come out here and attack. Uh, I... I I feel like I I feel like I handled this decently. And the way I handle this, I would expect you guys to handle it, okay? I don't think I get that same respect from you guys on the subreddit. Some of you, yes, but most of you, I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry, it's not it's not the case. Um but uh, I told you I'm changed. I told you I'm not going to come on here and just fucking go through comments that have zero upvotes and scream at everybody. I I'm 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 better now. All right? I learned a lot from the cat shit. All right? So God damn it, lick my fucking dirty asshole. <laughs> Alex, what do you think about all of this, by the way, while I'm here? Well, hmm. You don't, wanna, you don't wanna touch it, do you? N not really, it's just, m m the majority of the comments are just people saying things that aren't true and not looking it up and not actually fact-checking what they're saying and people just jumping on board, which you've already addressed, so it's kind of like. But it does, it does piss me off, you know, seeing people say, I can't believe what we team wouldn't look into these sponsorships before taking them because we are so picky with our sponsorships and we go through all of them. So that's seeing true. shit like that really pisses me off, but that's all I'll say. I, w I went out into public yesterday, okay, and had a good time. Guess what, chat? I did something I never do. I went that's and true. saw a movie in the theaters and I never see movies in theaters. And I hate, well, I'm gonna rant for a minute here. I have a deeply rooted hate of movie theaters that comes from a place of racism. I'm joking, but I do hate going to movie theaters and I wanna talk to you guys about it. I got a story. Does that mean he's about to yap? Oh, dude, get your yap caps on, dude. I've only been to a movie theater. You know the movie theaters where they serve food? You get, you get, you're in like a lounge recliner, okay? And you get a nice little tray and 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 the, the, they bring the the waiter you guys don't even know what i'm talking about Ooh, okay, okay 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 i'm gonna explain to you guys i'm gonna explain to you guys see i didn't know that growing up the way i grew up i didn't even know this was a thing either and then only when i met peanut did i know this because peanut worked at one of these theaters when i met him and when i went to austin he's like oh you gotta come try it so there's these types of theaters, and I know there's gonna be so many people in chat that go, we know, bro, everyone knows. No, I just saw people who don't know. So it's these, they're more expensive, okay? You get like a big lounge recliner. My chair went back and my feet went up. A slide out tray comes out to you. And then before the show, a waiter, a staff comes up and goes, okay, what do you want from our menu? And they have this whole comprehensive menu. And then during the movie, They'll come up to you all quiet and they'll serve. Oh, is that good? Everything okay, cool. And you can press a call button. And get, I got a, I got a mule. I got pretzel bites brought to me. It's not a VIP section. It's the whole theater. It's a type of theater. It's more expensive. Now, you're gonna say rich people. 
I have been to these theaters one time in my entire life. Yesterday was the second time I did it. And I just, I, I wanna talk to you about it. It's fun, I wanna talk to you about it. Now it's like 20 bucks. But I mean, isn't a movie, how much is a normal movie th Dude, this is gonna make me sound really rich and out of touch. I don't like going to movie theaters. I hate movie theaters. That's gonna be the most of my rant right now. Isn't a movie ticket like 10 bucks, 11 bucks? Or am I super out of touch? Y'all are paying $15 to watch a movie in a worse experience than at home? Y'all are smoking, dude. I am all if I'm all for burning the movie theater industry to the fucking ground. I'm over it. Home theaters have become too accessible and too far to be spending fifteen dollars to watch a shared public movie. I mean, are you kidding me? Let me tell you. Let me paint a picture for you. I go late night. Got a little bit of weed. Got all the food. Maybe have canes with me. Who cares? It's my house. Got my feet up. TV up. Amazon That's Prime. True. $2.99 for any movie I want to see. Boom. Oh, no. What's that? IBS. I'm having explosive diarrhea. Not a problem, people I'm subjecting to watching this movie with me. Let me pause the movie and go have diarrhea. Come back. Oh, I didn't miss a single thing. Not to mention the house is the temperature I want. My kitty is right there. Okay. Your mom giving me a foot massage. None of these things happen down at the old Regal Cinema. All right. Meanwhile, I'm getting gouged for fucking popcorn. $27. Right. You see what I'm saying? I'm all about the home theater experience. Now, I know you're gonna say, Wubby, you're rich, you got the nice home theater. You're rich. Bro, I was all for the home theater experience when I just had like the basic Vizzy Vio 299 Walmart TV I got at Black Friday. I still prefer it. I still prefer it. Dude, take every movie you're gonna watch for the next five, 10 years, okay? Take all that and start saving that money. Get yourself an okay TV and get yourself a sound bar. Done. We're done with the movies. I'm over it. We're done. Anyway, no surround sound. Oh, you're right. I really needed to watch the fucking Mario movie and, and hear his yahoos coming from 14 directions, right, bro? Come on, you're not going to the movies for cinema. All right, half the time you're like, ooh, colors. Come on. So first off, I hate the I hate movie theaters. I've had a few movie theater experiences that have ruined the movies for me. So I wasn't gonna tell this side of the story, uh, this little aspect of it. I wasn't gonna tell it, but I feel like it's too funny to not tell. But it is definitely one of the biggest L's I've ever taken. Um, <laughs> so someone in the group, okay, as we're getting stuff says, oh, I, I, I need to go to use the bathroom. And they ask the lady at the concession stand where the bathroom is. And at this point, the lady had only been talking to me. And, oh, it's right over there, and, and walks over there. And then the lady does a double take at the girl who I'm with, okay? Lady looks back to me, and I'm like, oh, is, is, is there a problem? Can we not go to the bathroom until we have all the tickets ready? And she goes, no, I just didn't expect her to be like that beautiful. And it hit me, it hit me, it, for, for a second I just didn't, I didn't know what that meant, because I wasn't thinking, any, like, okay, no, you know, it's not what this is, I don't know what you think this is, but then it hit me all at once, she was looking at me, and then looked at this other person, and then went, oh, I was just taken back, that you were around somebody who, uh, who was decent looking. I stood there for a second, it hit me and I went, what does that mean? You know, I didn't say it that aggressively. I'm not trying to blow this whole theater up. I didn't say it that aggressively, but I'm like, oh, what does that mean? And she's like, oh no, I just, I just didn't. She was just beautiful. R okay. Check. I wasn't going to tell you guys this. And also I'm not going to say who, cause check it's weird, but it was someone and Am I tripping or is that like the absolute biggest dunk anyone has ever said to me? And it, I was so, the, my whole day was ruined. My whole, I, I'm not even joking. I was like, I, I'm, I'm going to kill myself right here in front of her. Fuck, she's going to have to clean me up. I'm going to be so huge and dead on the floor. She's going to have to scoop every part of me up. I'm going to shit my pants. It fucked me up. And I'm not lying to you guys. I've been wrestling with telling you guys about this because I was so fucked up over it. <laughs> Killed by words. That would ruin my day. Right? 
Because all you want to do is you want to start explaining yourself. Like, well, first of all, what is that? What are you saying about this person compared to me? Second of all, why even say that? What is that? Like, I can't be around someone you perceive as attractive. And you know what? I'm just going to say it. She was fat. The woman at the counter was fat. Okay, I don't blame her. She smells popcorn and hot dogs all goddamn day. I don't blame her. But it's like, listen, I didn't say anything about her. Imagine me looking up and going, oh my God, I... You're not, you don't totally look like Quasimodo, so I guess, thank you. Like, what kind of weird fucking copium? <sighs> Speak your truth, thank you. Thank you. I can taste the copium. What am I, guys, I feel like you're not even using copium correctly. Copium would be me saying, I'm actually really attractive. She doesn't know what she's talking about. That would be copium. This isn't copium, it would be projection, okay? So, project this dick, all right? You're not even using it correctly. As I was saying, that shit kind of ruined my whole day, but I, I and I, I decided right now in this moment, just now, right before talking to you guys that I was going to tell you the story, before going live, I didn't write it down, I didn't put it in my notes, I, I thought, can I be real? I thought it was too mean. I've never in my life been so like, are you saying I'm too ugly to be near an attractive woman? It like almost made me cry. I'm not going to lie. And then I spent $200 at the cafe there. Um, and that's not related to the pain she caused me, <laughs> but I did. If you are saying how, you want to know how? Okay, you want to know how? Because as I walk to my fucking seat with tears in my eyes, and then the lovely gentleman comes up to take my order, I go, yeah, I'll take everything. Well, you are very good looking. Do not listen to that bitch. Yeah, but who, you, I mean, okay, you know what though? Am I though? Am I? Am I good looking or am I your type and you happen to like troll people? You know, these are, what is she? And you know what? She had her makeup together. She probably watches, uh, who's that pedophile guy? James Charles, okay? She probably knows what good looks like. You know, what do you know? You're a fan of me. What do you know? You have a bad taste in humor. You suck. <laughs> You're a solid seven. I'm so okay with that. My God, I'm so okay with that. <laughs> Bit of a drive-by. Oh, we're gonna defend James Charles. Go, go on, <laughs> go off, sister. <laughs> that one does blow my mind, though. Actually, I was having a conversation with someone about this the other day. I was like, he really, like, we be canceling people out here for this and that. He really be like sexting kids, like, a, like a, on more than a few occasions. It's not like, it's not like the stretch, like, oh, you know, he was. No, no, no. He really like sexted underaged. Boys, but it's cool. His, his palate is is off the cheesy. Uh, honestly, as a pansexual man, I can say you look pretty good. I guess. What? Oh, do you think that's a compliment? Okay, people in chat saying cheesy alert. You guys are a good time. You guys are fun. Do you think that's a compliment? Hey, as a guy who it, I, I, I'm attracted to a lot, you're okay. I'm not as picky as a as a standard person. You're all right. The fuck? I didn't throw up when I opened stream. I guess it's not even a sure thing. I think I'm doing okay. My nausea is down. You don't get a hundred women to post their tits on the subreddit without being attractive. Wrong, 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 wrong. You get a hundred women to post their tits on the subreddit. If everybody looks on their screen right now, look, okay, I think it's, I don't actually know what Twitch puts it. Is it right here? There's a little red number. <laughs> no, but for real chat. I'm happy. I, you know, it's a, what's the word? Cathartic? Or is that like a type of pasta? <sighs> Whatever. It's, it felt good to, to tell you guys that, that aspect of the story. I didn't think I would be telling you guys that. It feels like I got something off my chest. Um, I feel good. I feel like I expressed something to you. And that makes me feel empowered. Five guys, I have so much on my mind time. and so little that I'm allowed to Five talk about. Months. So... Wubby. I want you to know, if I get angry at something that happens tonight, I need you to hear these words that it is very likely projection from other things going on that I will be able to explain to you. Just not yet. Just not yet. So, but I, oh, I, hate, I hate, dude. You know, like, you ever seen Click? Where he has the little, where he has the little remote. <laughs> this, this, the streams where I can't talk about the things I want to talk about, I want to fast forward. Because they're just, I, I'm just gonna, I just talk about it. No, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, I was gonna talk about this a little bit though. I don't think chat, we, we haven't had a sit down about this yet. So we're gonna have a sit down right now about this as we're getting into the content tonight. Guys, Twitch is done for me, pretty much. I mean, we're approaching that point. 
Listen, I am the king of being dramatic. I think it's how I got my start on this platform, but I need to not mince words here and say, this isn't me being dramatic. If nothing changes, if the trajectory, if no other platform or Twitch themselves interjects, I'm, I'm sorry, but retirement is very likely. But let me make it clear, and I'm speaking now to Twitch directly. I'm gonna make this very clear. My retirement will not come quietly. I will be dedicating the remainder of my life to having as many children as I possibly can. Okay, I will be based like a virus, like a cancer on planet Earth. I will be if I no longer get to stream, I will be attempting to spread as much of my vile seed as I possibly can. The goal being in 10, 20, 30 years when I'm inevitably dying of, of heart disease, I will have hundreds, nay thousands of children taking over things. Maybe one day one of those kids will get interested in Amazon. Maybe that kid will be the next Jeff Bezos. But I will spread my seed like a like a like a vi like a That's cancer cute. on planet Earth. No, but for real, all jokes aside, I'm not going to stream on Twitch if their only offer to me is 50/50 sub revenue. The reality of that chat is if you want to hand me $5 and someone comes and takes 250 of that, that's AIDS. Not going to do that. That's not something I'm interested in. Wouldn't do that. And then the other thing is we'll just go to a different platform. That's going to a different platform uh, without with just, hey, well, we offer good things on this platform, so you should just come. That doesn't get me out of bed at this point. That like it's just like well like okay I'll just be honest with you I talked to YouTube a long time ago and I was like what can you guys offer me and you know what they said they said here's what we can offer you and they linked a page of how like how YouTube works They're like this is what we can offer and I'm like oh okay so you're offering me nothing so I'm the same I am bringing to the table the same amount if my fucking mother made a YouTube account tomorrow that's what I'm valued to YouTube okay so that was uh, it's not even a pride thing it's just like oh okay I offer nothing to you cool I guess my viewers and all that they bring to the table doesn't fucking matter. That's fine. And I'm not, I'm in talks and we're figuring things out. But what I'm saying is, chat, I don't think you guys have fully realized. There is right now a less than 1% chance in a couple months here, I will still be streaming on Twitch. Have you thought about that yet, chat? Because I've been thinking about it. There is a less than 1% chance. Twitch is pretty much not giving a shit about me. And they're pretty much holding strong on the 50 50 sub revenue split which is robbery that is robbery that is insane so i need to start i realized today and i can't this is where i have to kind of not talk about certain things as much so i'm not gonna but i realized today through other conversations i'm having with other people that like this is happening and i gotta let chat know that this is happening i don't want to retire but uh, you know it is an option. This can't end. It, 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 I, I am. Here's what I'm going to say. Boys, I know you'd follow me to whatever platform, but I'm not going to ask you to follow me a platform that the, that the platform hasn't shown they don't want us. Does that make sense? Like, I can't get excited to go to YouTube if YouTube says, yeah, here's what you get when you sign up with YouTube. And they just link me a page that everybody gets. How do I, how do I tell my audience, boys, we're going to YouTube. No, it's like fucking Oregon Trail at that point. Like we're all dying of dysentery, grabbing our bindles. And oh, I guess we got to head on over. Like I want us, if we get, if we go to a platform, I want them to say, we want you, Wubby. We want the community. We want what they bring to the table. We want the, the retention. We want their engagement. We want them and we want you, right? So that being said, I'm still on a good contract with Twitch, but it's gonna end in a couple months. I will tell you guys when it ends. And and that's it. I'm I'm like Twitch has said nothing to me. I and the crazy thing is they gotta be saying stuff to other streamers in my in my range of viewership. They gotta be because those people aren't outspokenly going fuck Twitch. But I mean the reality is if you're not right now screaming fuck Twitch from the top of your lungs, then they have to be talking to you. There's no way, right? Sea Dog got a contract. Yeah, and I, more. If you get a contract, That's go true. with who's gonna give you the contract, uh, because 50-50 is robbery, dude. Anyway, so. Uh, that's where we're at. I'm waiting to see. We're you know thing. We'll see what happens. But boys, I want you to know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the platform that says they want me, and that's that.
That's as simple as that. And I will ride for whatever platform says they want me. Come, like, do we not bring value? Twenty months. Where's the time gone? Low? Do we? Oh, don't you know what? Never mind. Never mind. That's fine. That's fine. Is making our own website a possibility? Not to me. Not to me. I don't see that as something I'd even be interested in. What if we stay on Twitch and make our own subscription system? These are possibilities I'm I'm willing to humor if everything else falls through. And right now, nothing has fallen through in other options. So we're going to let those options marinate and we're going to see what happens with those. I'm more so even bringing this to your guys' attention. What about kick? Okay, let me make this very clear. Let me make this very clear. Okay. I am... I will ride and die for whatever platform. And I'm making this clear. Whatever ever platform is willing to say hey wubby we recognize you we recognize the kind of content you make we recognize your audience we want you here here's proof we want you here and that doesn't mean see the thing is i'm sorry i want to be contracted by somebody i want to know that they oh, i've been with twitch for how many years now and i think i've talked to them eight times and it was it like that's like in, in seven that's like once a year near it, like it, I, oh, I just want the platform to go, hey, we believe in your content enough to, well, we're gonna sign you to something, right? That's all I'm asking for. I don't care who the fuck it is. I don't give a fuck. Cause you know why? Here's the reality. I know my audience will follow me. You guys will follow me. Let's be honest here. We blow, when, when, when I ask you guys to do something for a sponsor, you guys blow it out of the water beyond people five, six times my size. You guys will follow me to another platform, or at least the people I want in my community will follow me to another platform. But they're not gonna follow me if I. If, you guys aren't gonna follow me to YouTube if I go. Well, uh, Twitch is fucked, so I guess we're gonna go to YouTube. Um, I guess I guess we'll start streaming there. Yeah, like no one. I'm not gonna be excited for that. You're not gonna be excited for that. But imagine I kick in the door and I got a like 14 fucking page contract and I'm waving it. We're screwing. YouTube wants us. Ba -ba -da -ba. I'm t I'm throwing money. Everything's looking. I'm like it doesn't even matter if you guys sub anymore. Psh, psh, psh. Oh my god, y'all would fly to whatever platform that is. <sighs> Rumble. <sighs> Rumble would have to pay me more than i'm worth but wouldn't it be nice wouldn't it be nice to just be like hey guys we don't need to take sponsorships anymore i don't need your subs this company wants me streaming for them odd jobs is paid for oh that's oh 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 um but i'll keep you guys posted okay uh train was talking today about how streamers should reach out to him directly if they want to move to kip kick 95 percent sub split is kind of wild Okay, I'll say this. I'm uh, I I messaged Train a few weeks ago, and I thought he was ignoring me. I'll say this. I'll say this. Train hit me up last night. That's all I'm gonna say. Train hit me up last night. Train hit me up last night. So well, you listen. <laughs> Leave it at that. Leave it at that. And you know what? I'm I'm down to hear complaints that people have with Kick, but when Kick's talking to me, I don't know if there's much complaining. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyone but Rumble, apparently. I, I don't know anything about Rumble. Isn't Rumble like the 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 political months. one? I don't even. What isn't that what Rumble is? I don't actually know. I want also to to the people who I want everyone to hear this too. This is important. We have a lot to get to tonight, but I did want to ramble about this for a second. I want you guys to know that me getting a bag is the most beneficial thing to this content you could imagine. For a few reasons. Reason number one, I am not bound to your subs anymore if i need to make huge content i don't need to go hey guys listen there's a sponsor hey subs like right there boom done two two i am it opens if, if i'm not i don't know what bag we're talking but a bag that is you know what i think based on what i've heard from other people and then you scale it down uh there i mean it, <sighs> I, I instantly, I'm like, we can do this now. We can do this now. We can do this now. It doesn't, I don't want you guys to think I'm seeking a bag to retire. That's the furthest thing from what I want to do. I'm seeking a bag to be financially free from my audience. Because although I love this relationship, and in fact, if everybody in chat right now wants to find a non-sub and at them and make them feel like shit. Although I love the relationship we've developed, my ideal relationship, if I could more than anything, I would want a fat, fatty paycheck for just using a platform and then freedom to do what I want on that platform. And I think that benefits the audience and the streamer. I think that benefits both. You can tell me I'm wrong, but I think that benefits everybody. Now, don't get me wrong. Currently, Twitch pays me nothing. I have no, there's, 
Twitch gives me no motivation to stay on their platform. The only thing Twitch is offering me is a backdrop for you guys to donate to me. That's really it. They host my content and then you guys are 100% of the money I make. And then sponsors, uh, which is also through you guys. I have big news today. And I hope this is real because I'm believing it off of the subreddit and I shit you not. I, when I saw this, I, I got giddy like, like, like Christmas, Christmas morning. I shit you not, boys. Fuck you, I believe. Well, I haven't said it yet. What are you, to, what are you watching? Boys, condiment update. The diced onions are returning. Now, I don't know if it's real. I have no, I don't know for sure. People are saying fake in chat. I want to be very clear. If this is fake, I am killing myself. I hope this reaches Costco's desk. I am killing myself. Now, obviously, okay, here's the thing. Things are a little different. Individual cups held under refrigeration inside the food court available to members upon request. To all the Costco employees that might be in my chat, maybe you have a friend who works at Costco in the San Diego area. Okay, this is your warning now. It's time to stock up. I'm gonna be walking up there asking for 10 fit maybe 20 of these little fucking cups. I'm going to be a menace until you bring them back to the people. But we take what we can, okay? We'll take what we can get. I will say this. I love Costco, the, the, the cheese pizza, the hot dogs. But since they removed the onions, it has not been the same. And you guys know, and I when, when they bring back the onions, I will show you. I will do it one more time for the boys, how I eat my Costco pizza. I'll describe it briefly right now. Okay, you take a shitload of onions, you pour it on top of the cheese pizza, just on the one slice, pour it on top, okay? Boys, <clears throat> we have some bad news and I'm going to bring you the evidence right now. I'll be right back. When God giveth, God taketh away, and God gives me the onions back in one hand, and in the other hand, a hairless cat jumps up to where I'm storing all our Legos and destroys the vase. And, ooh! Okay, I dropped it too, so maybe I, maybe I should be less critical. But also destroys the flowers. They are exploded on the floor. But see, I'm smarter than Hezbollah. I punished my cat off stream. And I believe you could only hear it. Bro, I don't know if you guys heard. <laughs> Could you guys hear me screaming at the cat? <laughs> now, I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. But I watched that stupid little hairless fuck cow. Does anyone have a clip of it? <clears throat> so, uh, HP is going to be walking around with three paws for probably the next six months. I mean, he's he'll survive. It'll make him tougher. So anyway, the onions are back. There Dude, I, I got... Okay, guys. <laughs> Ah, dude, I did I did something, something so high. fat guy the other day. <laughs> I did something so fat guy. I wasn't even gonna tell this story, but I'm gonna tell you. Dude, I went, I was driving home and I wanted a snack. And I was like, ooh, you know what sounds fucking good? Movie theater popcorn. But I don't want to see a movie, so I'm like, I'm just gonna run in and grab some popcorn and head home. And that sounded so good to me, right? I'm already getting flack for that, and that's not even the story that I found funny. Oh no, that's so unhinged. That's unhinged? Yo, that's unhinged, what? Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. I didn't realize that not, uh, people didn't do that. We're putting up a poll, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, you're better than that? What? Look at me in the eyes, like, I'm just talking to you, the guy who sent that message, I swear to God, me and you. Bro, who do you think, I am so not better than that. Do not be fooled by anything you see. I am not better than that at all, bro. I have viewers watching me, but that gives me no authority. I am, dude, look at my carpet, bro. What do you mean I'm be I'm better than that? This possibly poo over there. This might be a bad poll, but yes means you've done it. No, okay. No, no, I'm not even gonna add context to it. Yes or no? Just yes or no? I, I thought this was more normal. I thought people do this. That's unhinged. Bro, if you're having a movie night, if you're having a movie night and you're already out, like let's say I'm having a movie night at nine o'clock and I'm out at the mall running errands, okay? 
I'll probably grab some pop movie theater popcorn on the way home. Y'all have had it delivered before? Okay, you called my bluff, but I'm gonna say it. I'm, I, 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 actually, I'm, um, should I say it? Ah, oh, fuck, should I say it? You know you could pop your own popcorn, right? You know that it doesn't taste as good as a movie theater, right? Without a bunch of effort. And then with the effort, I'm talking about I'm already out, bro. If I'm already out, I'll grab it. I'm not gonna be sitting in my house and go, hey, let's go grab movie theater popcorn. It's so expensive. Fuck yeah, it's expensive, dude. Bro, this is a, this is a fi this is a finer thing in life, bro. Listen, if you're ordering filet mignon, I'm not gonna be like, what's wrong with you? I'm gonna respect the fact that you're treating yourself tonight, okay? It's just salt and butter, dude. See, there we have a fuck. There we have a moron. Doesn't even know about flav flav flavor flavor call. There we have a moron right there. So you're already out of the conversation. You're already done. Okay. Also, I want to say this is not what I wanted to talk about at all. <laughs> Cause it gets worse. They use seasoning. They do a lot and it tastes better. I'm sorry. It tastes better. I have a popcorn machine in my house and I've made it taste like movie theater popcorn with the flavor call and the coconut butter and all that shit. I've done it. It just takes effort. It takes effort. And if I'm out and I'm can walk to the theater, yeah, I'll pay 10 bucks. Okay. Fine. 10 bucks. Fine. So see chat, when you guys jump down my throat for this being weird, I just want to point out that one third of you agree with me. And that's not that you guys are, I mean, let's think about it here. We, we've done more for less, okay? So let's be fair to the one third that agree with me. The fact that you have a machine and the ingredients makes this so much crazier. Oh, buddy. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I did not bring this up to talk to you about justifying going to the movie theater, grabbing popcorn, and leaving. This is not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about a different aspect of this, and I don't feel like I'm in a safe environment now to tell you the rest of the story, because this is even the bad part. So I'm there now, I'm looking at the concession stand, and everything smells good, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna make this a party now. I'm gonna make this a party. I order, <laughs> so I order some some uh, 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 pretzel sticks, like pretzels with cheese, and I'm like, you know what? I really wanna soak down a glizzy, bro. I'm trying to get fucking glizzard, bro. I'm trying. I'm. I'm having. I'm on this thing recently. I don't even know what's wrong with me. I'm on a hot dog kick, bro. I'm on a hot dog kick, bro. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how bad they are for you, bro. I am on a. And I think it's been so. Diet's over. Diet's not over. Diet's not over. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Okay. I'm having fun. But I'm trying. Listen. I'm having a. I'm having a pregnancy hot dog phase right now. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I don't know why, but you I'm trying suck. to get it. A, a There's so many people in chat going, dude, you're d d fat, da da da. Bro, I want you to know something, okay? <clears throat> if I could retire today and just follow you around in your miserable life, I would. I would spend the rest of my years following you around and just sucking the fun out of everything you do. Because if you're in my chat high horsing a movie night, the calories from a movie night, you either must push everybody away from you in your life, or you're so miserable, no one's even gotten close to you in the first place, bro. You know the amount of soda? Bro, I'm having a movie night. Have you ever lived, bro? Cool, you're gonna live to 85, but how much stuff crust did you have? Shut the fuck up, bro. Okay, there's a balance. I was having a movie night. What's are you gonna do you sit outside the movie theater and go, you know, this That's money true. could be going to a gym membership, you know? Do you even uh, like do you do, bro have fun have fun with your fucking turkey club while you're watching the new Mario movie? I'm gonna be enjoying my fucking popcorn, bro. What's wrong with you? You probably pack a lunch when you go to Disney, all right? And you act like it's a health reason, but we both know it's because you can't afford it. All right? What come on? What are you doing here? Anyway, what was I saying? poor shaming to my audience members who are who are financially struggling but are nice fun people i want you to know i would never shame you ever to my fat viewers who That's are here true. for a good time i would never shame. to my health nuts in chat who are just here for a good time i love you but if you come into my chat and you're gonna act like a dick then i'm gonna target the easiest thing i can just like you did all right so just know Someone said, you're poor shaming. No, 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 no. I, the poor people on my chat, you are great viewership. You are great and I love you, okay? The fit people on my chat who understand the joys of movie theater popcorn, I love you. 
I love you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thank you, Pores. We need you here. We need you here. Can I just tell my fucking popcorn story? This isn't even a good story. I, 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 I. So I'm standing, I'm looking at the concessions on my popcorn, and I order some pretzels, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm on a hot dog phase right now. I don't know why. It'll probably end soon, but I'm like, I'll take a hot dog too. I'm so, I'm like, oh my God, this, I'm, I'm about to pig out, watch a movie at home. Oh, this sounds so good. I get in my car. Oh, you know, I can't even wait. You know, I can't, I take out the hot, you know, I can't even fucking wait, bro. And my plan is to eat the hot dog on the way home. Cause I can't even wait. I'm so excited. My whole, I open up the foil and my entire night was ruined. Let me, I don't have a photo of it because I'm not going to lie to you. I, <laughs> there is a parking lot in San Diego with a mall where there is a hot dog on the floor of it. Not the foil. The foil is crumpled into my car, but there is a hot dog on the floor of a parking lot. And let's just say this. It's not there on accident. It's not there on accident. I know you might be saying wubby. That's littering, to which I would say, no, I'm feeding the wildlife or the homeless or a combination of the two, depending on how feral these people are. I don't know. Did you cry? No, but I'm going to show you. I don't have an exact. I didn't take a photo of it. I didn't think this was going to be a stream story. Otherwise, I would have. Okay. But let me show you what it looked like just from a Google search. I'm going to see if I can find a photo of what this thing looked like. I took one bite. Okay. I muscled it down because I didn't know what to do with it. And then I threw the hot dog onto the floor of the parking lot and I drove away. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is pretty fucking close to accurate. So this is not an actual photo. This is a dra dramatization. Feeding the poor equals grounding a hot dog. <laughs> this is what it looked like. I wanted to cry. If the person at the concession stand wasn't like this sweet little, I assume like high school girl, uh, not in a weird way. I mean, like she was just a really nice, kind girl. I would have gone in there and give them a piece of my mind that they thought it was okay to serve to me, but she was very kind. And I didn't think I like, I don't want to go tear this girl a new one. This is essentially what I had got served to me. Keep in mind. Also, I fucked up too, because it's a movie theater hot dog, like eight bucks. I mean, it, it, it kind of looked worse than this too. Bro said that's fine. I bit into it and it had the uh, uh, moisture, uh, uh, moistness, moistness. It had the, uh, uh, it was like a Slim Jim, like a thick Slim Jim. It was so, it was, it, that's what we call a wizard finger. Did I, what? It was so disgusting. Burn that shit in hell. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pickled hot dog. Thank you. A mummified hot dog. Thank you. Suddenly, suddenly my story's valid. Anyway, that was it. That was the whole thing. I left the hot dog in the parking lot, drove away. What reminded me of it was seeing this dog, and I'm like, that, that could have been me. Costco hot dogs never fucking let you down, dude. That was it. That was the whole story. You guys, you guys fucking made fun of me for 20 minutes. For, it wasn't, it's not even on my docket, dude. I did not write this one down. It just came to me.